woods. I belong to the House of Twilight. <laughs> we are a collective of independent vampires. I'm sorry, what? We're not supernatural, obviously. We have been under investigation by the IRS and we have just received a ruling that we are not a legitimate church. Independent vampires, can you tell me what that is? We need to feed on energy to stay healthy. And how? We drink blood. Ooh. You make me want everything I thought I was better than. Sarah! So you want to go out with me, but I have to be a secret? No, no, because you just, until your audit case is closed, you just... And after the audit's over? I only just met you. Fine. Well, hello, how are you? Hello, hello! Thanks for I've joining I've got this me. thing in my ear. I think that's going to help, don't you? Oh, you look you? great. You look fine. Okay, yeah, all right. Great. All well, right. thank you for joining me to talk to me about Bite Me. Yes! <laughs> Love the title. It's a vampire story, but it's it's important to point out that it's not supernatural vampires, is it? Correct. There are apparently real life vampires out there. People who claim they get their energy from uh, blood. No, so I, I totally know that because back in my college days, we did a lot of role playing. We did vampire games where we would meet on ranches and they would have different clans and you know you would be in character. Yeah, I was a geek back then. And wow. uh, and you, if you were out of character, you did this. If you wanted to step out to talk to someone, but there was drama. There was even real life relationships. I mean, it was really so. Watching this movie, I'm like, wow, this has been around for a long time. I mean, this was new to me. Um, uh, Naomi McDougal Jones, the other Naomi, uh, who wrote and of course stars in the film, you know, fell down a very deep YouTube rabbit hole on the whole vampire, uh, you know, world in order to write this. But I mean, just having like survived this pandemic thus far, not that this was any surprise to me, but you know, I get my energy from other people. And so, you know, the fact that this kind of thing was my only social intera interaction for, you know, 18 months or whatever, uh, I, I believe it. Like, I believe people get energy from blood the same way I'm getting energy from you right now, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. And it's, weird things. and it's also important to note that the characters in the movie, they don't sleep in coffins uh, and they feed on the energy of donors. They don't go out attacking people. Um, but the, these vampires, there's three of you, you're almost like sisters, which I thought was really cool, but you're roommates. Uh, you make, uh, you want to be on social media. You want to make videos that go viral to tell the truth about your clan. I mean, doesn't everyone? <laughs> like, that's what we do these days. Why, why would these three vampire girls be any different? <laughs> and, you know, I, I can't believe the vampires had trouble with the IRS, too. So, uh, but in the, in the movie, it's a real church. I mean, why, you know, when I was in college, I dated a girl that was Wicca, you know, you know, so why not? Yeah. Yeah. I, listen, having been audited by uh, the IRS twice, unfortunately, <laughs> no one as charismatic as uh, Christian Coulson. But um, uh, yeah, I mean, again, they're they're going after everybody. They get, came after me because they claimed I was um, a, a hobbyist, <laughs> that I appeared to be, you know, having all these actor write offs. And yet I didn't have any income to show for it, which, of course, I was like, yeah, no kidding. It's called, yeah, yeah that's a hashtag actor's life. But um, uh, yeah, no, I mean, why they, not vampires too? Of course, that, of course they're being audited. And they did that to me too. After 20 years of being a film critic, they said, this is a hobby. I'm like, what? I'm, how is this a hobby? You know, just because, I don't know, I, the IRS is a nightmare, but, uh, <laughs> but also bite me. It's a love story at heart, isn't it? Yes. It's just in time for Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> and you want it to suck in a good way. Yeah, no, yes, exactly. <laughs> and you know what I also loved about this is the soundtrack. I love the music in this movie too. Oh, yeah. I need to watch song? it again just for that. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was very yeah. emo, very kind of, you know, you know, uh, retro new age kind of, you know, I, I, the kind of music I listen, the alternative music I listened to in college, you know, it was just good stuff. Well, I think rom-coms are retro. Let's face it, we we don't see a lot of them right. anymore, and they're lovely. You know, I maybe we don't have cute meets anymore because there aren't no one's meeting, and <laughs> they're not that cute. <laughs> so, <laughs> I love the the quarter dream scene because you had you had all the sets of different vampires, the costumes. I mean, was that a complicated shoot? Because there was a lot going on in that scene. Yeah, that location, um, boy, I, I want to say that was the 
the church where uh, Carrie and Big got married, if I'm not wrong. I'm, I'm not up on my, you know, Sex and the City trivia. I know it's changed since. And Big is dead and God knows what all. But um, uh, yeah, that was a beautiful location. Uh, like this just super, you know, European style uh, church down in the Lower East Side of New York. It was really awesome. Well, congratulations on a great romantic comedy. Uh, it's different, it's funny, it's hip. And also I had to tell you, I love you in American Horror Story. It's when Freaks is one of my favorite ones, you know, so Aww. you were just fantastic in that. And such a thrill to talk to you today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> come, visit us, come visit us in Las Vegas too. We'd love to have you. I would love it. Y'all are freaks too. So <laughs> I one. can see why we, we relate. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Naomi, and good luck with the film. Thank you.